Does a person who says, Lord, Lord, but doesn't do his will enter the kingdom of heaven? Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's listen to the stunning words of Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. So we see that the true test of faith is not just what we say, but what we do, that is doing his will. James Montgomery Boyce passes on a story from history in which the Greeks and the Persians were fighting one another in the Mediterranean Sea. Now the Persian ships were large and heavy and cumbersome, and the Greek ships were light and quick. And so a Greek ship came across a Persian ship and came up quickly on it and sideswiped it and took out all of the oars on one side. And the other people on the other side that were rowing continued to row, which made the ship simply go in a circle. When the Greek captain saw that, he went into reverse and sideswiped it again, wiping out the oars on the other side and then sinking the ship. Now, once that ship was missing its oars on one side, that ship became useless. And so it is with a profession of faith in Christ without the accompanying desire and carrying out of doing Jesus' will, that profession is useless. We cannot live selfish lives and run our own lives and expect to enter the kingdom of heaven. Not that we're perfect, but the direction of our life, if we are truly born again and we have a new nature and the Spirit of Christ is dwelling in us, our direction will be towards doing the will of God. Now, if I come across a friend where I live in Lebanon, Oregon, and I'm walking southbound, and he's walking northbound, and we have a conversation, and he tells me, I'm going to Walmart and I know that Walmart is to the south and not to the north, I know that he's not going to Walmart because he's not going the direction that would take him to Walmart. And so it is with those who profess to be Christian but don't do his will. Jesus would say they won't enter the kingdom of heaven. Now don't misunderstand me. Salvation is a free gift. It cannot be earned. It cannot be deserved. But those who have this free gift of salvation, who've genuinely put their trust in Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord, risen from the dead, who died for their sins, that person desires to do the will of God. Listen to the warning the Apostle Paul gave that's very similar to what Jesus said. This is in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 5 and 6. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things, God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. So, until next time, don't be fooled by the popular notion that a person can profess Jesus but not do his will and then enter the kingdom of heaven.